In many instances, water losses come from the bathroom, and this property is no exception. The water loss here came from the shower, or the shower tray, as it failed. And so water got underneath the floor, and that worked its way down into the kitchen and damaged the kitchen ceilings and walls. And we know how we're going to dry that, and we've worked that out. But we really need to look at what we're going to do in the bathroom, because this needs to be dried as well, because the wood has responded to that water. And we want to dry this. But we understand that this is the family bathroom, and this is the family home. So if we disable the bathroom and the family can't use it, they have to move out. Families need two things in order to stay in their home, and that's the bathroom and the kitchen. So if we can create a sympathetic drying regime that allows people to stay in their bathroom, then we can save a huge amount of disruption and quite a lot of expense too. So I want to show you how we can create a very simple tent, which is going to focus the dehumidifier's air onto this part of the wet floor. And there's nothing complicated that's needed here. We're just going to use a plastic sheet. This is just a lightweight plastic sheet which we need to be able to lay over that floor. Now, I've got some pieces of wood. So I'm going to wrap the plastic sheet around the wood a few turns and that's going to form one edge of my tent. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side of the tent. Take a piece of wood, wrap it around a few turns, and that is my tent. That's great. So now I've got a plastic sheet which provides a focus over what's actually wet. I could seal this a little bit better. I have another piece of wood. Let's just wrap that around there. A couple of turns. Brilliant. Okay. So there's my tent. I now need to be able to get the dry air from the dehumidifier underneath. And to do that, I just need some ducting. So here's the ducting. We can put that in place. The two ducts coming from the dehumidifier. Put the tent back over there. That's great. Now the dehumidifier is issuing pressured air. And that air would try and inflate this tent and blow it away. So we really need something that's going to hold that down. We don't need anything complicated because the pressures are not high. And uh, I've looked out in the garage and I've found an oil sledgehammer. That'll do on that side. I found an old weight, and that would do on that side. Okay, so now my tent's secure. It's focusing the dry air on the areas that are actually wet. The dehumidifier is going to blow the air underneath here. Dry air will be contained under the tent, will cause evaporation in the wood. The water will come into the air, and because I've got pressured air coming in, the air will naturally escape. It'll do it out of the bottom end of the tent, and then that excess humidity will just come into the air in the bathroom. And that's not a problem here because this is a bathroom and it normally compensates for humidity because we've got the shower and we've got the bath and these all add water vapour to the air. So the little bit of water vapour that we're going to add to the air by drying that is not going to make any difference in a room of this size. So having set that up, all I need to do now is connect to the dehumidifier and turn it on. So the area in the bathroom that I wish to dry is actually only really small. And so there's no point putting a really powerful dehumidifier in. Small job, small dehumidifier. So the perfect thing for me is the uh, EPD50 Max because it's a small dehumidifier. It's perfect for that application. I used two ductings underneath that uh, tent over there. So I've got my ducting fitted to a two port manifold. I've blanked the third port. I just need to fit the manifold onto the front of the dehumidifier. So that's the, my outlet for my dry air. My exhaust, my wet air that the dehumidifier is processing, that's going to escape into the hall. Because this is a quite a big house and it's quite a big hall, and the hall naturally dissipates moisture because hot air rises. And the, and the amount of moisture that we're letting go into the hall is no worse than the bathroom would do normally. So it's acceptable to discharge some water vapour into the hall. So that exhaust is going to go into the hall. So the machine is really ready to go. I've left the machine outside of the bathroom very specifically because under UK legislation, we can't have anything that's mains powered in the bathroom. And quite logically, if the dehumidifier was in the bathroom and the children were playing in the bath and splashing water around near this machine, it could cause, cause damage to the machine. It could cause the risk of electrocution. So the machine is standing out at the hall for that purpose. 
And that's it really. All we need to do is turn it on.